The method described here is fully disclosure of a new conceptual achievement in understanding magnetism, which seemed to be impossible before. A non-time-varying magnetic field, like a field of permanent magnet in its rest position, can create motion. This is invented at year 2012, and can be re-examined by 3-way.1, spreadsheet calculation 2 by geometrical logic 3, by seeing physical movement of ferrofluid. All active particles experience an attractive force towards center of circle. The toroidal magnetic field lines are circular and flux density increase towards ITS center. The path of ferrofluid particles in it shown by green arrows, these lines are perpendicular to magnetic field lines. In the next slides, we will go through minute discussion about what is happening inside a toroid when it filled with ferrofluid and placed in magnetic field of permanent magnet. This is a toroidal magnetic field, field intensity increase near center. S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, S7, S8 and S9 are particles of ferrofluid. These particles experience force due to magnetic field gradient and try to move dot towards center. Their path of movement is mechanical lines of force and these lines are concentric. Articles of ferrofluid S1, S2. Dot S9 are in the channel moves toward center. They all make force on base plate of channel. Base plate push back the fluid upward due to Newton's third law. And this force applied TO upward shown green arrows everywhere at base plate and on lower part of tube which is near the base plate. If one mechanical line of force represent one particle of ferrofluid, then pressure on base plate P will be proportional to number of mechanical force lines. If some lines cut by tube wall they will not apply force inside tube, thus lower end of tube experience lower force in downward direction than Archimedes force of channel fluid upwards. This difference of forces at lower end of tube makes pumping action.
It is difficult to compare tank B with the channel, because in tank B pressure is generated by gravitational force on water and in the channel. Story is different in the channel the pressure is generated by gradient magnetic field. Thus we use a method for comparison, the method of mechanical force lines, which gives you clear understanding to what a difference in between a rooftop water tank and a channel in magnetic field. In water tanks some particles are apply force on side walls, because the wall block their path, mechanical lines of force show the path of particles and direction of force. Remaining particles apply force on base plate. Thus force on base plate is only applied force of particles over the base plate. F proportional to NP. Where NP is number of particles exactly over or perpendicular to the base plate. In the channel all particles of ferro fluid apply force on base plate, because they moving towards base plate. Thus number of particles increase to apply force on base plate. Their paths are concentric lines. F proportional to NP plus no where, no is number of particles in other than over the base plate. In this figure volume of ferro fluid over the base plate is shown inside dotted lines, number of particles np. Volume in other than over the base plate, are shown highlighted yellow, particles no total particles those apply force on base plate equals n equals np plus no, please note this wonderful condition. Why a permanent magnet doesn't make motion a permanent magnet laying on your table does not make motion because their condition is P1, P2 equals 0 a permanent magnet can make motion when it used with a channel. P3, P1 equals non-zero next slide will show you the both situation. Magnetic field lines are circular instead of parallel horizontal. The mechanical force lines are concentric instead of parallel. All mechanical force lines reached at base plate instead of some cut by side walls. This means all particles of ferro fluid apply force on the base plate instead of some particles apply force on side walls.
In analogy to virtual gravity, magnetic weight MWC of channel is greater than MWT magnetic weight of a tube of same base plate. This concept can be described in geometrical way. In this figure MWT is within dotted shape, no mechanical force lines crossing side wall of the channel. MWC MWT. Someone asked me how it is possible. My answer is if there is a non-zero force F3 F1 present in the channel, what it will do? Except then pumping? If total particles of ferro fluid are not pushing side wall of channel, why they not apply a force F3 greater than F2? If Archimedes' force depend upon volume, how it is possible F1 of tube A is equal to channel, which has area of base plate equal to tube A, E force F3. It must be F1 smaller than F3. The big question is what will happen with permanent magnet after some time. Answer A. The permanent magnet will lose magnetic field. Magnetic field is a flow of particles and it moves ferrofluid particles like wind moves windmill. Answer B. A permanent magnet don't lose its magnetic field even after years of working. Domains are quite stable. Thus device will work very long time without any input energy. However the law of energy conservation tested thousands of time true, but still it is a experimental law, not a logical or geometrical. There is no matter inside matter and no energy is inside the energy. Energy is always interpreted as our matter, but it is a phenomenon like other known things, not a basic matter. No one knows what energy is. Albert Einstein write a formula about energy equals sign make two, but in this equation both E and M are un- If this video screwed up your mind badly don't wait please make bombardment your opinions in comments section.